Hello. Ah, Koko, why are you not picking my course? Hey, Charlie, I'm in a very serious problem. Do you know something? My Facebook has been hacked. Hacked. And these people are threatening to send my messages to my wife. Oh, oh, this is not the first time you tell me that. Ah, oh, listen, listen, let them send it, nothing will happen. I said, let them send it. Nothing will happen. It is not just any normal mm -hmm. message. I don't need a problem, Baba. I don't need a problem, Baba. Uh, let me see what I can do. Hello, so guys, today in this video, we are going to keep it very simple. You don't want the harm to be done before you try to prevent yourself from being harmed. And that's what I'm saying. So they say prevention is better than cure. So let me dive into this video, this short um, tutorials for you to understand how you can be hacked. So those of you who call me and then they are asking that how do they prevent their data from consuming after they have connected their, their hotspot or their their phone hotspot to uh, they are committed to their phone hotspot so this is a quick way so this is just a bonus so you come here you go to the properties and you scroll down you scroll down and you make sure that this place is meted the meter is on so it's, it may be off so you own it so that's it good to go let's dive in so this is my um facebook page right my facebook uh, this is facebook right so if you facebook so normally when people are on whatsapp they see a lot of people who are sending links and then a lot of captions and they are like oh go and do this and go and so you click on it and then it brings you to a page like this and it's requesting please brother brothers and sisters brilliant it is requesting for your email or phone and password so this is actually what we call phishing so phishing is when a person creates a link and then it takes you to his or her page but he has chrome facebook so you think that you're on facebook but you are not on facebook you are actually on his page so you click all your initials or let's say your your logins and then you say login so immediately you say login it takes you to facebook all right you see the normal message and everything that you are supposed to see but your password and your username is with this guy you understand so he can actually log in to your maybe facebook or instagram or, or any social media platform and get things done so normally they post pictures of let's say lot of numbers or v porn videos or something like that so something that you don't represent they use your account to do that and so you get annoyed and a lot of people call you so this is one way it's called phishing so try and make sure that you don't click on any suspicious suspicious links and if you click on it don't put in your passwords of usernames yeah so that's fair one one so the second one is what we call the key login so the key login is uh, one of the easiest way to also hack somebody's um, um social media um, account or something like that or any account so the key login the person installed the, uh, the software and hide it so it's a software and then key login logger so it's a software and hide it maybe on a computer or maybe you have been using public maybe um, library computer or let's say a cafe and so the person have installed this software on it so you come and then you don't know so you start typing so as you are typing it's recording whatever thing that you are typing and so after you've finished typing it sends your if after you finish typing and click on the login it sends your information to the hacker so now the hacker has your account and can do anything literally anything that he wants to do with your account he or she wants to do with the account yeah so that is what we call the key login so the way to prevent it this is to make sure that you don't normally use other people's devices frequently and when you are using it so you are very careful and know that this is a trusted machine that you can use and you can also change your password on your own device after you've used it so that people don't have it because sometimes when they take it they don't they don't know the time that you log in so they don't get to see it for a very long time so you can change it and everything get changed 
so that is a way to prevent yourself from being um hacked using the kilo again so the other simple way that people normally use to see other people or steal other people or hack other people is not actually hacking so you come here you see i've clicked on the trade dot here so when you click on the trade dot here you see a lot of uh, menus popped up and so you go to settings this is very simple you go to settings and you go to auto fill auto fill and you come to um you come to password so we click on password so now they are asking you that they are, you are showing you my username and everything so um this is when you log into your, uh, your machine and then it saves your password it asks you that do you want us to save your password if you say yes it this is what it does it saves your username and your password so that next time if you want to log in you don't have to go through the process of typing and everything it just gets saved and then you are entering just like that so it comes with a disadvantage and disadvantage disadvantage so the person come to your follow the person i've showed you and comes here and the person can only be able to see your password when the person knows your computer password or your phone password so when i click on let's say um this this one it, what is it asking me it is asking me that i have to type my windows password before i can enter so if i am able to type your password then it shows me your your your, your, your computer password and it shows me your your password so now i can click on any of these things to show the password i don't want to do that you understand what i'm saying i don't want to do that because i don't want to be hacked so that's it guys so prevent yourself and make sure that you are vigilant and you won't have to complain like the way my guy is complaining subscribe to my channel Click on the notification bell, comment on any video that you want me to do or anything, and I'm sure to do it. Thank you for watching. Peace.